Okay, 2007, um, brand new house, uh, brand new haunt practically, um, mostly because in my old place, since it was a townhouse, I really couldn't do much. So I pretty much had the run of whatever I wanted to do. Uh, out, very, out in the very front, I put a uh, scarecrow in the garden that was there. Um, I didn't have a whole lot of time because, uh, just because we had actually moved there uh, rather recently, I think it was at the beginning of September or something like that, we'd actually just moved into the house. So we had, I didn't have a whole lot of time and money to actually really get anything going, but I did uh, fix up my dummy in the front yard. He was actually there all year long. I stuck one of my ravens out there. And um, about halfway through the month, I put in my door greeter, which was my mummy just suspended uh, with some chains that were intended to be used to hang plants. And I got them on clearance at uh, the dollar store. Uh, my unwelcome mat that I got from orientaltrading.com. Very, very cool. You can't buy it anymore. Um, right on the inside, up in the top corner, I uh, had my very first child skeleton that was dressed up. He was dressed up as a Power Ranger, all wrapped up in spider web uh, with my uh, large bendable spider. And there are just cobwebs and creepy cloth just hanging all over everything. Uh, the light fixture by the door, I just put in a uh, yellow sort of candle light bulb that's for chandeliers and it glows this kind of creepy yellow. You'll see a picture at the very end that'll that'll really kind of give the uh, eerie effect to it. Uh, the wall of, of body parts. Um, uh, like I said, I didn't just didn't really have a whole lot of time and money to really sort of get through. So I, I, I pretty much did what I could with what I had. I had gotten a foam skeleton at um, that year. Uh, that was my only major purchase for Halloween. And I uh, hung up all the pieces with, uh, with fishing line and hung spider webs all over everything. The um, animatronic sort of fingerless hand that's kind of right in the middle there, uh, right above the uh, severed leg. Um, that's actually animatronic. I had had that since I began my home haunts. It actually, the fingers and the hands just wiggle every so often. It's a really creepy. It's a very subtle and really creepy. Unfortunately, the servo kind of died on me a few years ago, and it doesn't work anymore. Oh, well. Uh, the very first animatronic prop I ever bought was this door knocker that is sound activated, and the, uh, and the arm swings up and, and knocks on the door. Um... It didn't, re when I first bought it, it didn't really look all that great. Um, it was kind of squished and uh, the sleeve was sewn shut and it just, it just looked terrible. So I ripped open the sleeve and I stuffed the hand to make it look fuller. And, and I actually, I actually cut off some, of, I actually got rid of some of the weight in it, which would have probably have burnt out the motor before long anyway. Um, my animatronic spider that dropped down. Um, my cousin actually hung out with me for Halloween this year, and she actually really, she was dressed up as a uh, wizard from Harry Potter, and she actually had fun pointing her wand and shouting a uh, animatronius, and the spider would drop down and, and scare the crap out of kids. It was great. And some of my bones and stuff. Ooh, ooh. These are old mailboxes that have been in the in the porch of the house for oh god knows how long it's probably since the house was built back in the 20s and they're just mailboxes and i and i glued a bunch of uh um spite little baby spiders all over the front grates of it with uh, little blobs of uh poster tack and um and actually they look really kind of creepy like they're pouring out of there it's really nice just a sort of a long shot of the wall toward the door to sort of give you a, an idea of what it looked like. Um, one of my newer spiders that I bought that year with my foam skull sort of hanging there. Um, these are uh, actually plastic summer tiki decorations that I just spray painted stone and, and did highlights on them. And, and here's, here's the final image that sort of kind of shows how the uh, yellow light bulb in the, uh, in the lamp kind of just gives everything sort of a creepy glow.